Hey there, welcome back. And as you saw in the opening intro, because that's what opening intros are, I bought a tier 6 American light tank, the Stingray. Hey, why not? It's on sale. I finally get to move away from the tier 5 uh, Sheridan, which I've had forever. And uh, we're starting to go into some uncharted territory here. Maybe it's time to actually move down the light tank line and see if it's fun or if it's folly. And here's the first battle with it. No upgrades whatsoever. Fresh off the showroom floor with just a splash ink and a few retrofits. Of course, I've got my consumables, as you can see by number seven and number eight at the bottom of the screen. So I do have a repair kit and I've got some parts. The paint, of course, is from the Arabian Nights uh, campaign with the Alte. So I'm sporting that uh, Warlords of the Wastelands scheme. Which kind of looks like a face. If you look closely enough, those three triangles could easily be eyes and a mouth. Or even a tongue. Uh, looks like I'm having connection issues with... Uh, oh, I guess we're just going to run with what we got. It's so two VBLs on my team. MBT-70 if he connects, and of course, a Merkava, Merkava, I still want to know how to pronounce that, I, w I want somebody to s set me straight on that one. I'm using Sprina as my commander, and I can't even remember all of her skills, but I figure why not. And I did pay the little bit extra to have... Company responded labor forces loading dangerous materials on cargo trucks. They're jamming our satellites, we need eyes on the ground. So I paid a little bit extra to get at least my crew up to a level 2, so they have one active skill on the go. And I'm going to play a little cautious here because this is the very first battle, I have no idea what this thing's going to hit like, especially with the stock shells. But I've seen on the right hands these VBLs can be quite the nasty little surprise. That MBT-70 I know is going to be a little... Now why all of a sudden you focused on just that one guy over there? It's... When you know, right around this corner is going to be a spawn board. Like right there. And it would help if I actually nailed a shot on target. So let's see. And, ooh. Oh, it's a three round clip. Deflected a shot there, which I have no problem with. Fires, I hate them, especially when they get a lock on you. Yeah. So far, the stock shells are doing decent damage. So that's two without really trying overly hard. But yeah, still a pretty poor reload. Come on. Identify. Tank. Maybe I should have put a breach in there and speed that up a bit. Oh. Yeah, let's get out of here because I seem to be the center of attention there. Come on, turn. Oh, that really was not good. A weasel toe. Fairly low damage, but it definitely seems to get decent penetration. So there's three. Four sixty-six, pretty low. So I'm assuming that the next upgrade should be a little bit more pleasant. We're running out of time. 
Yes, I see that. Ah, I should have known better. Ah, come on, fix it, fix it. I got a Pioneer kit version two, so it should be a little faster. But still, not what I wanted to see. Yeah, my voice is still kind of going, so. Oh, jeez, come on, what are you two? Why are you hiding over there? Oh, we're not gonna get the secondaries. This MBT-70 is not really doing damage like it would say in my hands, but... So let's see, can we grab at least one? There's one. Come on, hurry up, close. A little bit of delay. Okay, now if the door's going down, can I eat, exit the circle? Yes, it seems to work that way. Turret's a little slow on the turn. Minute to go. And I decide to hit that. Please tell me you're going for the secondaries. We have 45 seconds, you're going for it. And you decide, no, we don't like the secondaries. I'm allergic to them. Okay. Gotcha. Across the bridge to Grandma's house we go. So if this Merkaba does a little bit of a push. That was good. Got a rock of reasonable cover here. That's good. A four shot. Okay, so there I thought it was three. Here, well, the MBT-70 does not have really good armor. I know I've got one. I can deflect a few good shots. It's better off against auto cannons, but light tanks here are just nasty. That's good. Oh, nice. That. Okay. Let's aim for you. Yeah, this 455 is not good. So definitely the ammo upgrade would be extremely helpful here. Still over 10,000 damage. This is challenging. Okay. How much of that is spotting? Short of action. have a panic attack. Still over five minutes left on the clock. I am just, yeah, well under half life left. As long as you, ah, I knew that was going to happen. Get into the fight. Oh, nope. I'm not worried about so much of collecting that. You're done. 67 hit points. Well, I can take it right to the end, or I can hit the 8 now and save what I've got. So I'm going to go with that just to be on the safe side. Another retrofit I got was the additional protection. Just to be on, on the safe side. So is that the Pioneer kit was my retros. And I actually spent a little bit of time reading up on it. The, the fact it comes with a four round clip wouldn't have been so much of a surprise until I actually jumped into it. So. 
little bit more prepared for that, but that's my own fault. Okay. Oops. Get overly caught or zealous here. Come on, come on. Really? Oh, plenty of more to take its place. Come on, oh, oh, that is just awful. So hang back a bit. turret, but still. No, dealing all with... Seriously? Come on, out of the way, so I can get a shot on that weasel toe. There goes my voice, ah, right at the end. First impressions of the Stingray? Definitely better than the Sheridan. Except for the firepower. Now, I got used to the Sheridan's... <coughs> I got used to the Sheridan's heat rounds, which really do the damage. And it was fairly accurate. This definitely feels like uh, more of a scalpel, as opposed to, say a pointed tip sledgehammer which would be what a pickaxe yeah you get the idea I'm really shocked look at that a blue star really I didn't think I did that good 18,000 it's a times three so it's really helped my progress along but I'm just shocked I top spotting damage except for you so it's just straight damage, what I did. Top spotting was you. Damage. Top spotting was you. I can't even thought. I'm in just total shock. I can't even make cognitive sense of what I'm, what I'm seeing right now. Just, wow. First battle, blue star. Challenging. Not bad. Decent returns. Like, a hundred thousand? There's got to be bonuses on the go right now. Come on. Why are you not working? Really? There we go. No? Just crew? Oh. Call me surprised. So yeah. That's the tier 6 Stingray. Go figure. I can't wait until I start getting ammunition and firepower upgrades on this should be a blast if you sat through all that by all means give yourself a thumbs up if you actually got something out of it give me a thumbs up consider subscribing to my channel leave comments in the section below do you own a stingray how do you play it share your little game tips with me without you know giving away all your secrets so that maybe I can incorporate your advice into my future gameplay when I take the Stingray back out into battle. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.